Got the first girl, you know the vibes Yeah Got the heels, baby girl, don't cry Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel In today's video, I am going to be starting off my weekly vlog or a week in my life I don't know if I must vlog every single day Today is actually Thursday Thursday the 13th, my mom is talking and arguing behind because I just got a dress Okay, let me give y'all the story to this dress In March or was it late February? No, March. I paid for an order, right? Um, I didn't order it myself. I use a... I don't know. We just call these companies. Shipping company, ordering company, whatever. I use a third party, basically. And I just paid them to order stuff. I sent them all the stuff that I needed. The size, color, whatever. Okay, so... Paid for the order in, like march march third second they are both very early in march two weeks later got a text message saying asking me what is what's my phone like what kind of phone you have because i ordered a phone case y'all will see the phone case in a different video because i will plan to do it somehow but i'm gonna show you the dress right now because i'm i'm pissed but anyways so i was like Two weeks later and it's only now y'all actually ordering the stuff when I already paid for it. I cool. I was like, okay. Exa, da, da, da. Mind you, I was having a baby shower coming up. And something that I ordered in it was for the baby shower as well. And I am there kind of freaking out. Like, we didn't have a date set. It was between late March and April, mid-April. I was there freaking out like what if I don't get this thing for the baby shower like this is a very important part of the gift and if I do not get it I'm gonna be very pissed but anyways I did get it in time for the baby shower when I got the other I'm looking for my dress because I ordered two dresses dress nowhere to be found and I'm like what the hell is going on so I message no I was there Mommy's like, I want to leave the dress right now. <laughs> when I looked through the bag, because I looked through the bag before leaving the place, and I was like, I didn't get a dress. And she was like, oh, she'll talk to blah, 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 because she's the one with the order. So, Monday came, because it was Saturday. I messaged them on Monday and was like, hey, I need an update about this dress. What's happening? No, because it was a bulk order, right? I got free shipping from whatever, wherever Shine, what? Wherever Shein Warehouse is to their Florida Warehouse, right? Now, that dress was supposed to be in it. So, I wouldn't have been paying for shipping if it was in that parcel. But because it was by itself... And there's a whole load of simile me that went down before I could actually order this dress. I literally had to went, go in the building and be like, hello, what's going on? I already paid for this dress. Why are you guys not ordering the dress? Like, that's not even the most upsetting point. Now that I went there yesterday, they told me a fee. I was already upset about that fee. Now today, they add $10 and something to that fee. Which is pissing me off even more. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to show you the dress. I'm going to show you the dress. I don't think y'all ever saw me upset, so welcome. So this is the dress. It can be worn to the front in a cross style or to the back. I'm going to wear it to the back. They had it advertised with the front in the cross style. And if this dress does not hug me the way I need it to be hugged, I'm going to be even more pissed. Better believe that. I'm going to be even more pissed. But let me just hop into this dress. What should we hop in or let's just hop in. So, guys, this is the dress I'm hiding up here because um, I think you could kind of see like print. <laughs> but yeah, this is the dress back of the dress size real 
another style view really really cute i like it um i can't really show you the entire thing because it's really really long but when i film my haul you'll get to see the entire dress there's a slit mm. you got is some already i'm still upset but i like the dress so i'm gonna just you know breathe it is what it is i already went that way i know better i'm not gonna use that company anymore yeah but i love it the back is just ah everything to me i love it i have like two videos to film today so i might get ready to start filming that yeah hmm. looking at myself with my mirror i'm just like girl Ooh, sun dress season but anyways back to what i was saying i have to film two videos today um and i have to go and today's a different day by the way i filmed me trying this on yesterday but i was still upset and i did not like how that video came out so i was like scratch that we're gonna do something <laughs> we're gonna do it over plus i didn't do the transition yeah but i gotta film two few videos i gotta go to town drop off an order do laundry when i get back and clean my room because it's not that terrible it's my desk um books are kind of all over the place because i do these oceans and then i have another book where i write basically let's call it my letters to god um that's what i call it it's a form of me communicating with god other than verbally and it it brings me some form of peace so i like doing that by the way if y'all want to see a video of there goes the fault i have to film a video where i'm speaking both videos where i'm like actively speaking these falls need to quiet though but back to what i was saying if you want to see a video of me talking about how you can grow your relationship with christ how you can get close to christ let me know in the comments down below i'm not perfect let me just put that out there but i can definitely say that as each year comes i feel like if my relationship with christ is you know building getting stronger and if i can help somebody in some way shape or form i'm more than willing to do that because that is my main purpose on earth to spread the gospel and to help other people to form a deeper connection with god so yeah let me know if you want to see that by the way this paw mm. Y'all, I like to hype myself up, especially because lately I've not been 100%. Um, and when I feel like if I'm giving off a certain glow and energy, I like to just keep that there. A lot of things is going on behind the scenes and it has been stressing me out. But I just want to breathe and enjoy the moment that I am in. I don't want to have to worry too much about things that god already has covered it's just me not knowing if certain things are gonna work out but that's enough of me rambling i need to film these videos you guys can i get hey guys oh my gosh it looks like so much hair in front of my face and i i don't know how to feel about it like i thought it's not even that much hair that i took out but it just looks like a lot it's not that much but the humidity crazy hair one two my hair's thick i should have known not to like i can't tell unless i like did bangs or anything so i thought it would not be this much but it is so now i'm thinking that i want to put it on the side but then again i don't know how that's gonna look it looked like a lot of hair and <laughs> Anyways, sorry for that little ranting that I just did. We're continuing today's vlog. Like, 
when last did I record? I think it was Saturday. Today is Thursday. Like a whole entire week later. I know. That's bad, but nothing interesting happened. I ordered some brushes for my business. Um, I'm gonna show you the brushes that I'm talking about. This is mine and it currently does have hair in it. So let's take some of that out. Um, but yeah, I did this last night and it looks like if I, I did it this morning. Uh, not this morning, like three days ago, but no. Anyways, yeah. I ordered some more of these brushes and I am supposed to get them well, they're already here in St. Vincent. I just have to wait until the shipping company tells me the cost. Um, I ordered a lot more this time, so I would not run out of stock quickly and have to order again. I also ordered some hair towels, which hopefully by the time this video goes up, I would not be spoiling anything. But... I ordered some hair towels. Um, I haven't decided on the cost of those yet. We'll see when they tell me how much my whole package is. And I ordered some, not phone cases. I don't know how to explain them. But you know, summer is coming up. This, this has nothing to do with any of my businesses. But I was like, I need like a little extra cash like I need to buy some ink for my printer and if I have to wait until people order picture frames well I can't paint no card right now at least not colored um I would not be getting any ink anytime soon so I was like you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to buy some clear cases and I'm going to sell them over and get some money from that to help purchase my printer. So, yeah. Those are business stuff that I ordered that are coming. Well, they're already here, as I said. I picked up my camera because I um This sounds so far to say because the person that I'm going with, we're not like talking. <laughs> We are not, I don't know how to explain it, like, we just, I don't even know if friends is a word to use, maybe acquaintances, but we're going out on a date, let's use the word date, and I wanted to kind of take you guys along with me in a sense, but y'all know how I feel about vlogging around people, especially this is our first time hanging out together so i don't want to actively be vlogging and you know invading his privacy in a sense he will live long because he's literally messaging me right now hopefully it's good news and not no bad news because I, I can't take that right now i'm going to show you guys my outfit i just literally came home from work um I don't know how I feel about my hair right now because this just looks like a lot of hair. Like in person, like cold that everybody has been telling me, oh, you look good, it looks nice. But I feel like because of the humidity, it has grown so much. I do not like that look. I'll find a way to make something work. Um, Have we fully decided on where we're going? Not really. Well, there are two places that we are interested in going two places that i've actually never been to reason why i'm in black and white right now i was actually supposed to wear it tomorrow because tomorrow it will be a year since my grandmother passed away and um i want to go to her grave tomorrow and just spend a moment you know thinking talking i know that might be weird or some kind of crazy especially as a christian you know i know there are people who believe that you know the dead can hear us and stuff like that 
but my belief i don't necessarily believe that but however i feel as a way for me to feel comforted in some sense i just want to basically kind of sit and talk about what's happening in my life what she's missed like she just had i'm talking like if she's alive but um if she would have been alive she would have been meeting her first great grandchild um and you know she obviously can't but yeah i want to do that tomorrow I, I was going to wear this tomorrow black and white but let me give you a little update on what's been happening in st vincent and the grenadines like if you are a prayer warrior, please, 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 please pray for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Like, there are bodies that are popping up out of nowhere. There is violence against women, children. It's just a lot happening here. Um, I just got home and I find out that another body is found in a vehicle. Like, it's it's getting crazy out here and it's sad i didn't know christ as a personal savior and that's what hurts me the most about situations um because a lot of times when somebody passed we're like oh they're in a better place if they have been dealing with sickness a lot of time people say that um but we don't know that for real though only god knows that oh my gosh my cousin is calling <laughs> ah! i'll talk to you guys a little bit more about that maybe tomorrow let me answer this phone call from my cousin and also yeah i haven't replied to the guy yet um so later okay little update i just answered the call um but I'm not really going to talk about what that call is because I have to think about it. It's something that has to deal with social media though. But, um, yeah. So, our date is going to be pushed back a little later. I'm not upset. But, ugh, it's a school night. <laughs> and even though I'm not in the school, I'm in school but yeah i don't know what to do with my hair like i i don't like how it looks right now i can kind of show you my outfit in a sense i'll try to show you it when i'm actually dressed i'll be wearing this skirt from do i have it right yeah this shirt skirt sorry from shein it has a little slit cute cute plaid yeah and this black long sleeve from U2B. I don't know what that is. Wow, this looks extremely see-through. But I don't, it's not see-through on. But it does look see-through like this. If it was white, it probably would have. I have it wrong side, by the way. So let me show you it. The actual right side. Yeah, it's like this. And I'll be wearing like a brown sandals. I need a black sandals. And I feel like if I've been saying this for the longest time. Like when I bought that brown one. I said I need a black sandal. But I put up a brown. And there was literally a black in the same style. But this is the fit. I don't know. Can y'all get the vibe off of me? Like do you see what I see? Anyways, yeah, that's what's happening. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. Like, I don't know. But I'm thinking to cut my hair, to be honest. Not my whole entire hair. Like, I want bangs. I like bangs on me. Curly bangs, not straight bangs. Time is flying so fast. Like, yesterday was just May 1st, and we are at May 19th right now. I'm sorry y'all saying this video so late, but I love you guys, though. 
this hair just I don't use any gel well I use a little bit in the back for my hair today but I didn't want to wear really gel on my hair because I know that I want to add some gel in it tonight so yeah I'll see you guys when I'm dressed and ready to leave. So guys, I'm dressed, ready. Um, this is not giving right now, this like thing. But you're always looking cute. I know you're like, what happened? I flat ironed the front of my hair and I curled it. I don't know, I was just not feeling how my hair was looking then. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit something. And this something is cute. It's giving. I love it. And you know me, I rarely wear lipstick. Because, I don't know, with the type of lips I have, lipstick doesn't give me what I wanted to give me. So I just put on lip gloss and I look cute. I'm going to show you guys the fit. No. Oh. Okay, this is... The lighting is gonna have to give. I tried wiping off my mirror, but I, let's not even talk about it. This is the fit. Y'all will see pictures if I get to take. But this is how we're looking. Excuse my hang on, but that's real life. Ooh. But this is without the flash. This is how we're looking. Cute. Mm, my bag is on my bed still. But. I better get pictures tonight because mm. the do tutorial on this hairstyle because oh, I love it. Anyways, enough rambling and me gassing myself up. I'll see you guys in a bit. We're in the supermarket right now. Mm. Um, I can't talk for long because there's music playing, but we're getting candles to go to the graveside. I need to update y'all on that date when I get home. But yeah, we found the candles. Um, when we're done, we're going to go over to the grave, which is not far from. I'm really just minding my business. Yeah, this is our graveyard. Hopefully, nothing scary pops up. But yeah. Um, the grave is over on this side. It is crazy over here. I don't understand. I don't. People just come here and clean up. People just come here and clean up. Like, yeah. well, it don't look like nobody in clean in ages. This really looks like a deserted or abandoned graveyard. Yesterday, I told you guys that I'm going to do an update on the date, basically how it went so it was good um we talked we got to know each other a little bit more better this is somebody i've known of for a while but we never spoke until january of this year i believe um and we're not like actively talking or we weren't actively talking but a couple months uh, weeks i just let me scratch months like a couple weeks almost a month it's not a month and some um we talked about going out on a date and so many like things led to us not meeting when we were supposed to like i am a person like i want somebody to actively be like hey remember we're gonna do this da, 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 da. clearly not that person so i've learned um so that was one thing and then a day that we were supposed to meet the rain was coming so heavy like the day before so we cancelled and we were supposed to set another day but i thought he was gonna reach out to me and he thought i was gonna reach out to him about it but None of us did until recently he brought it up 
and yeah that's how i figured out he wanted me to say something about it but anyways yeah it went well um nothing out of our or, or no boundaries that i have in place were broken so i appreciate that if you're watching this video and yeah do i think it's going to lead to something i I feel like we just went out on like a friendship type of level and trying to get to know the other person. He has believed some of them are not correlating with mine and plus I want somebody who is serious about a relationship. I'm not rushing the guy, okay? I am not. He's great. He has an amazing personality. He's handsome, but yeah, I want somebody who is ready and he's not. Me, myself, sometimes I feel like if I'm not ready, but I am, I just think I keep on encountering people that are not ready and it's kind of playing with my mind, if that makes sense. But anyways, the date went good. Um, I'm going on a second date. We're still talking as friends. Um, yeah, that's all I can say right now. I'm just letting you guys know, like, if I do, not if I do, when I do, get a boyfriend, y'all, y'all are gonna know. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna know. Are you guys going to know who he is? No. Um, <laughs> I'm not doing any public relationship scenario ever again until i'm engaged although it can be hard being a social media influencer an aspiring social media influencer you want to share your life with the world basically and you know if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend they are part of your life but y'all would definitely know he might get a little a little glimpse maybe his shoulder maybe his head I don't know, but you're not seeing his face until I'm engaged. Just putting that out there. So if you ever were looking for a couple of content from me, you're not gonna get it until I am engaged. Yeah. Um, and that's one thing I feel like I don't know if I can date another social media influencer because I know he's gonna wanna post we social media influencers, we want to post our lives, we want to post everything. I might post something and you might see a glimpse of me. And I feel like I'm so easy to recognize. I'm not a hard person to recognize at all. So if you see a little glimpse of me, I'm going to put two on two. And I don't want nobody putting two on two. I don't. <laughs> but anyways, that's enough rambling about relationships. Like I did a whole video on relationship and there are other video ideas that i have so if you want me to film more relationship related stuff let me know keep praying god is always on time mm. god first god you know the vibes